Princess Diana was keen for her sons to have as normal an upbringing as possible. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's baby is due in spring and they are said to be considering taking a leaf out of Princess Diana's book when it comes to their parenting style. Although their baby will grow up in the public eye, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are hoping they will remain down to earth. ABC Royal contributor Royal Nicka said on the documentary Meghan's New Life. The Real Princess Diaries How Princess Diana Tried to Give Harry a Regular Upbringing. She said, Harry has spoken very much about how he appreciated his mother Diana trying to give him as normal of a life as possible. He wants to do the same for his child, and so does Meghan. Kate Middleton and Prince William reportedly have rules they live by, from no iPads to cooking together, so will Meghan and Prince Harry follow suit. Princess Diana insisted on breastfeeding Prince William and Prince Harry and made sure their free time was filled with fun. While you may expect young Prince William and Prince Harry to have a glamorous time at the weekends with their mum, behind closed doors the reality was much more down to earth. Their late mum would take them to McDonald's, where they'd select their favorite order, Big Macs and chips. Then they'd head back to the palace to watch the TV classic Blind Date and sit on a giant stuffed hippopotamus that Diana had in her lounge. Paul told the mirror, the three of them would nip to McDonald's for a Big Mac and fries before coming back to watch Blind Date. All three of them would squat on this massive, stuffed hippopotamus Diana had in her sitting room. They loved Blind Date and I'd hear them all screaming things like oh don't pick him, and Lara, Lara Fun. She was easily one of the world's most glamorous women at the time. But nothing made Diana happier than being at home with her boys. Prince Charles introduced the princes to Shakespeare and the opera, but Diana was said to have taken them to not only McDonald's, but also the cinema and night shelters to meet the homeless. She also arranged go-karting trips, taught them to ski and wanted them involved in everything. And they had the best toys in the world, electric motorbikes, electric cars, the best treehouse any kid could ever want every military uniform from every regiment.